guys. So it is prime time for the Scania chassis and other Scania bits and bats. I managed to clear myself a little space in the loft so I apologise if the picture comes out a bit yellow but it's because of the wood I've had to use and I don't have enough bright lighting in here to probably make the quality of the video stand out. But uh, I did it the other day outside on um, my King Ola to do some bits and the weather were perfect of doing it outside but today it's just a no-go and if I keep waiting for the weather nothing's going to ever get done so I've got a couple plastic parts here for the Scania to do I've already uh, primed like the tanks and bits and bats up and then we're going to hedge prime this chassis and then we can start on the cab and stuff like that then so rather than messing about um, waiting on weathers like I say I'll be doing it in the loft from now on I'll get some brighter lighting hopefully try and make it doable but it's not always practical in here because sometimes it can be really cold and I don't know if you can hear but you can hear the breeze coming through all the slate and everything else but we'll be having a new roof within the next couple of months so I can't wait for that and then I can finally turn this room into a proper workshop so we'll get this primed up so basically on the plastic parts, I'll be using grey primer spray paint. I've used this before and it works with other paints that I use. And I've got a hedge primer there and that's for the chassis for doing like the metals. If you uh, spray your chassis and you just use normal primer, you might have issues later on down the line with paint flaking and it's scratching really easy and stuff like that. So it's always better. It's had a nice good wash, so it's all cleaned, dust free, ready to take the etch primer and as I say these on the normal grey primer and I think I have a tin of gun metal which the chassis will be going in and I have my lacquers and stuff like that everything really for painting the airbrush kit over there i just like to get that back out again and start airbrushing again at some point in my time yeah really miss airbrushing i don't miss the cleaning the pots out and everything else though i think that's what kind of put me off when you start getting into more detailed airbrushing and stuff like that it starts becoming really time consuming but for basic paint jobs it's still just nice to do it with an airbrush so prime time so yeah, don't forget to give the paint a great good mix and I'm just going to lightly coat this don't need to go on too heavy So I'll leave them now for 15 minutes or so and I'll come back put another coat of primer on them. So I've just masked up the areas where I need to, i.e. like pop shafts, wheel lubs, servo bits, stuff like that. Um, just got it sat on these little helping hands. Must have about 12 pairs of them. They're absolutely brilliant.
So again, leave that now for 10-15 minutes or so and then we'll come back and get another coat on that. Now it would be simpler to hang this up but where I am at the minute I ain't got nowhere to actually hang the chassis while I hold it and spray it. So I'm just making do on these helping hands. So I'll just give these a quick dusting underneath. Uh, put another coat on top of the normal primer and then we can let that dry. Right, so now we've got the chassis flipped on the helping hands upside down and we can just proceed just give it another quick coat try and get in between all the chassis rails and cross members everywhere else Turn this back around, do it from the other side in a moment. Now we just need the chassis to dry off and then we can uh, proceed to get a coat of gun metal on there and get it painted up. This is ready for a coat of paint now. I've just, got, just gone under the undersides of um, the tanks and stuff and just gone over the top of the gearbox. So I'll get all these painted up now in um, gun metal grey. It's a regular grey I use. I mainly use just the Holt spray brand. I absolutely love spraying with them, they're so smooth. Right, when spraying with metallics, you always want to make sure your can's like nicely warm at room temperature and your paint's warm and well shook up. So I'm just going to blast under these and some that I have left over. This is the underside, you don't really see this, but I just like to know it's all done. You can see I'm not going on heavy, just light coats, just letting it build itself up. So we'll go over that again in a moment. Now, I ain't got a clue how this video is going to turn out because you guys are on my head. So I'm hoping all goes to plan. So this start time starting from underneath the chassis, I'm just fresh can just get it out. <laughs> just gonna go over all the little bits, knuckles, joins, just try and get the paint in the gaps. Turn this around. Once I'm more organised, this will be so much better, guys. This is such a pain in the ass a minute doing this. Always keep your cans well shook up. Don't be just going at it and and keeping hold of the trigger. Just as you need it. Just you don't even need to hold the trigger down full. Just nice and lightly. Just 
nice back and forth. So we'll give that a few minutes to just dry off and then we can come and flip it and get the underside done. Now we can proceed to paint this side. So there I've got a good coat of paint on there now. So we'll let that layer all dry off. Give that 15, 20 minutes. I'll come back put another coat on and then I can get it lacquered so it's just add second coat of paint and that's looking good so I'm gonna give that again maybe another 20 minutes and then I'll get the lacquer coat on now, a lot of people might leave it days between coats which yeah is alright but it is actually better to try and get it all done in one while all the paints tacky still between all the coats so I'll leave this now for 20 minutes or so and then we'll get it lacquered. Now for some lacquer. So I'll give that lacquer now about a few minutes then I can turn it over, find a little dry spot where I can just grip it to flip it back on the thing. Turn it over and then I'll just work from the top. I've got a nice coat on underneath just to give a bit of a shine. So once we get it on top and then I can give a few coats of lacquer and just slowly build it up so it looks nice and shiny on top of that chassis. But all underneath's done nice good coat on there so that's all sealed and when we flip it over and proceed to do the rest you'll seal bob on so bit of a weird video for me in my loft not much good lighting i can't sit down properly to get organized to like go through this all with you but we'll just look at it as part of the scania build and if you want to see some proper painting tip videos and stuff like that i'll um, be more than happy to try and sort some out to do some spray techniques and everything else and I'll go through a lot of bases with you. Now I left school and the only GCSE I walked from school with was my art because I enjoyed graffiti and spraying on walls here and there. Did all my GCSE projects vandalising everywhere. <laughs> so if you want to see more and all that let me know. So I'll be back and we'll check in again in about 10 minutes just to give this another coat and the other little parts another coat of lacquer and the gearbox and bits and bobs. 
So there it is with a couple of coats of lacquer on. So I'll just give that another 20 minutes and then I shall put another coat on top of that and then we can uh, let that dry and have a look how it's turned out and then we can wrap this video up and then I can move on to something else. <laughs> so there's Scania chassis, tanks, gearbox cover, fifth wheel plate, the little bracket to hold the cab. So that's all lacquered, coated in um, a nice metallic gunmetal grey kind of colour. And then a few coats of lacquer just on top to give it that glossiness. So I'm going to put these in a box now and just leave them in there for a few days to go off. And then we can look at getting them put together, put back on the gearbox, back in the truck, tanks and little bits fitted to the chassis also. And then it's um, a case of working on the cab then. So probably another boring video to a lot of years, maybe useful to some of years, but I'm still going to make them anyway because I've got no else better to do. So if you like the video, give me a like. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and to you guys who've already subscribed and continue to support and watch my videos thanks very much guys because without you guys it would genuinely be pointless me doing all this so you give me something to do to fill my day which is great so thanks again guys and I shall catch you in the next video